Hey, I just published a video on tips and tricks for using your ultrasonic cleaner. If you missed that one, I do got a link up here for you in the information button, a quick link there for you. Check that out when you get a chance. On that video, a lot of you guys are putting comments down with more tips and tricks. So I thought I would just do a quick update here for you guys and share more of this stuff with you and clarify a few things. Welcome back everybody. Hey, you know what? I have noticed lately that we are getting way more traffic on our website. I think you guys are liking it. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, right there, stevesmallinsaloon.com. Got a quick link up there for you in the information button too. Check that out when you get a chance. So this is the update for my other video. So many comments, you guys, and thank you so much for putting your comments down. I just love it. Do it on this video too. Right underneath this video, you're going to see a place to put comments. Do that all you like. Comment. Let me know if you guys got more tips and tricks. The first one that I learned from you guys was, and girls, was that um, I said use you can use plastic uh, jars like peanut butter jars or pickle jars, glass jars. I said I preferred the plastic jars in case you drop it on your shop floor, your cement floor. It's not going to make a mess and shatter all over the place. But some of you guys commented and said plastic absorbs the ultrasonic uh, sound waves in there more than glass does. So a glass jar, the sonic waves go through that and will clean something better. Well, guess what? I tried it. I've been experimenting with this and that is absolutely true. When I take two uh, jars like that, one's plastic and one's glass, and I put the identical cleaning solution in it and the identical part in it, put them both in there, the glass jar definitely does clean faster. So that is a great tip right there, glass jars. The next one, I can't believe I didn't think of this. This didn't even occur to me. Ziploc bags, guys, are you kidding me? Who doesn't have Ziploc bags? They're cheap, they're disposable, they don't take up any room. Look at that. They're waterproof, they don't leak. You just take that, just like I was saying in that other video for the for the containers, you take that and put it in there. Obviously your uh, ultrasonic cleaner is full of water. You dunk that in there and let her float around just like normal. Obviously common sense, nothing sharp in there. And if you're going to use Ziploc bags, test your cleaning solution, whatever cleaning solution that uh, you're using in there, test it first to make sure it's not going to melt that bag before you put it in there and that's going to bust open and contaminate uh, the water reservoir. The other thing that I have to bring up, I got quite a few comments actually uh, and emails, guys saying um, gasoline, because I said, and to this day I stand by this, there is nothing that I have used that cleans oily, greasy parts and tools as better, better than gasoline does. Now, some of you guys saying that is dangerous, that is a bad idea, don't do that. Well, here's my train of thought right here. Chainsaw, check that out. You put gasoline in there, it's a plastic tank. It is that far away from the spark plug or the, the, uh, the high tension lead going to your spark plug is laying right on top of that tank, that far from your gasoline. That is an ignition source. That spark, it's fire. Well, that's safe, isn't it? Nobody can dispute that that's safe. But some of you are saying that I put gasoline in a, in a plastic container or a gasoline or a, a glass container like that. Ultrasonic cleaner is full of water. You put that in there and let it float around, and that's unsafe. It is surrounded by water, it's sealed, and there is no source of ignition in this. One commenter said, why would you put gasoline in something that has lightning in it? That one still baffles me. <laughs> There's no lightning in there, it's sound waves. That's all that's in there. It's not going to ignite gasoline on fire. So. That's safe and that's not safe. I can't wrap my head around that. I don't agree with that. I'm not buying it. 
I'm going to keep using gasoline because I've never found anything that works better. Another thing, I don't put the heat on. Let's, uh, let's face it. You have your, your water in your ultrasonic cleaner hot because you've got your heat setting on it. Water's nice and hot. By the time you put that uh, container in there, the part is already going to be clean before it can heat the gasoline up anyways. So there's no point in even having your, your heat setting even on. Leave the heat setting on off if that makes you feel better. And uh, that's it. Gasoline is the, is the best thing I've ever used. If you think using gasoline in there like that is unsafe, you think it's a bad idea, you're just not comfortable with it, simple, don't use gasoline. Use something else. If you want to see the exact ultrasonic cleaner I'm using right here, again, right underneath this video, there's a description. I got a clickable link in that description for you to get you back to this exact one so you can check that out. I'd sure appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up button for this update. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Hey, and you know what else? If you do want to go back to the original video I did on all the tips and tricks on this, there is a clickable thumbnail for you right there. Click that one. Watch that video next. Until the next time, guys, Steve out.